And cut. Just got fucking these little pop things. You gotta do it, but it's so fucking difficult. You gotta vent that can. Cheers. Welcome to Puck Talk. The show where we drink beers and we talk about hockey. I'm Dane. I'm a Habs fan. And I'm Sam, and I'm a Leafs fan. Uh, this is our web series. Yep, we're just starting it up. Trending news in the league. Yep. Um, who wins, who loses. Mm -hmm. Maybe show some highlights. Um, we're going to go into the playoffs. We're going to talk about you know our predictions, anything else going on in the league. We're going to make a couple bets on who's going to win each series. Yeah. And it's going to be interesting. Just anything to do with hockey, we'll be there. F*** soccer. Do you like to watch it? No. Yeah. Soccer. No one likes watching soccer. Do you like soccer? Even soccer fans don't Do you like, like watching, watching soccer? soccer. You, you literally watch watched grass grow. How does it feel not to be in the playoffs? For At this point, time. I don't even care. I really don't want to be wearing this jersey right now. Hoo hoo hoo. I mean, that's like the saddest collapse ever. They're going to finish behind the Sens. <laughs> well, tell me, where did, where did the Leafs go wrong? At first, it's, it honestly seemed like Reimer, and I know a lot of people are saying, don't blame Reimer, it's the entire team, and I agree with that. But the thing about, like, Bernier as a starting goaltender is he stood on his head all season and kept them. He was the reason that this team was a winning team for so long. You can't go an entire season and bank on your goalie just saving 40 shots a game every game. So, so what would you do in the offseason? If you were Dave Donis, what would you do? If you're Dave Donis, you should not be working for the Leafs anymore. <laughs> would you fire Would you fire Carlisle? I would fire Carlisle. I would fire Nonis. They just got Shanahan as the director of hockey operations. I mean, I would have brought him in as GM and fired Nonis. No, the other thing about the Leafs is the fact that, like, in the offseason... They made a good move in signing Bernier. Bernier has been a great goaltender. I think he's going to be a franchise goaltender for the Leafs. I hope so. But they lost Grabowski. They lost MacArthur. Two good possession players. Grabowski's played pretty well since he's yeah. left Toronto, too. I know. Both of them have. Grabowski yeah, and MacArthur actually, had really good yeah. seasons. And MacArthur it's, had a really good season. It's frustrating. I mean, I, I, Bolin seemed like a very good acquisition from the start. Yeah, I he mean, plays. Yeah, I mean, he lost most of the season, so that's unfortunate. Clarkson, I mean... And I don't know how much you know about the, his contract, but it's like foolproof. Like he, and for how much money, for how crap he played this season, yeah. And how much money he's being paid, they can't trade him. No. He has a no move clause. He can't go down. Like he can't go to the Marlies. Like he's there. Oh, I feel yeah. bad for you guys. I don't think you should sign a seven year contract to any player unless they're clearly going to be a franchise player. Sorry. You don't like Lupul because he went to buy jeans on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Who <laughs> buys jeans on Christmas Day? Someone who really likes jeans! It's going to be a weird offseason. I hope that they make the changes they need to make. This is a Phil Kessel off-ice compilation. Who is that? Yeah, I've seen this video. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Just playing hockey. Really, Phil Kessel? Yeah, I want to be his best friend. I kind of do, too. Phil, come on down for a second. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to have my uh, teammate at my back up here. Uh, <laughs> you know, we had a pretty good day so far, so... What advice would you have for the last guy standing out here later tonight? What scares me is uh, is your FNUF deal. Why does that scare you? Because Subban like yeah. is up for... He has to sign another contract this summer. And the way I see it is if FNUF can get that much money, I think Subban's going to like not budge until he gets that much money. I get it. Everyone wants to get paid. I totally understand. But it's just so much money and... I think we're, like if we want to keep Subban, it's gonna be he's, he's gonna be probably though. the most expensive player on the team, Do which I'm okay with being. Mm -hmm. I'm like I'm okay with that. It's just I'm yeah I don't know. We'll just see what happens. I guess it just makes me a little nervous. Do you think he's tied to the Habs like sentimentally? Yes, yeah? I do. Yeah, I'm sure Subban lo loves playing in Montreal. So how did the Habs season go this year? Not a solid se season. Uh, better than the playoffs last year. Uh, that was awful. Yeah, I mean, I've been pretty happy. Our top line since we got the Vanek trade as big, uh, probably one of the hottest lines in the league right now. That was good. What is that line? Uh, Dayerne, uh in the middle between Vanek and Pacioretty. Thirty nine goals. Didn't hit the forty goal mark. Uh, and unlike last year, we're pretty hot going into the playoffs. What would the ha what do the Habs need to do in the off season? I think they're, I think they're still a little small up front. 
And I mean, we do have Travis Moan and Ryan White, who are both scrappers, but just not that big. But we did bring in Weaver, Mike Weaver, who's like a um, veteran guy. He's been playing for in the league for a long time, came from Florida. Brought in uh, Wise from Vancouver, who's like a fourth line gritty guy. So I think we're like one or, one trade away. I hate to say it, but the Habs are looking nice. Uh, wow, 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 the Wild Wild West. If the if Will Smith performed Wild Wild West at every Minnesota Wild playoff game, I think they would win the cup. I don't think it matters how they play. The magic of Will Smith as a player. Toronto, like I'm not gonna say I'm happy Toronto didn't make the playoffs. But I mean, if if the scenario was Habs versus Toronto, yeah, and the Toronto Maple Leafs won, I'd be heartbroken, and I'm really happy that like like that can't happen this year. It looked like it was gonna happen like a month ago. And I know that would have been so amazing. I know that would have been I know. so. Let's wrap it up. Wait. Oh, I have a joke. What do the Toronto Maple Leafs, mm-hmm. the Toronto Raptors, yeah. and the Toronto Blue Jays have in common? None of them play hockey. Hey. This is Puck Talk. We'll yeah. see the uh, we'll see how Montreal does in the playoffs. We won't see how Toronto does in the playoffs. So, golfing. I think Phil's got a wicked uh, drive. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. I assume so. All right. So we have two more videos for you guys to check out. Uh, check them out below. Yeah. Subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Facebook. We should start. We should start a Twitter. Does anyone know another good Toronto Maple Leaf joke? No. Just say the name. I like Montreal Canadiens, more like Montreal poop. Yeah, poop. that's what I thought. Poop boys. <laughs> Montreal poop boys. Uh, ah! Turn it down a little bit so it's a little less obnoxious. John Bon Jovi. All right, this is Buck Talk. We'll see you next week.